Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as India. We're just about to settle our fifth city here in Majurai and our sixth city over here in Chennai. So now you saw those things. They happened, they're real. You cannot deny their existence. And it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. I actually underestimated how good Tundra is for India because we actually have access to step wells, which means we can make quite a good bit of use of Tundra in the early game. Not amazing. Not amazing. Going to be 100%. Not amazing. But a um, little bit of food and faith from Tundra is not bad at all, considering normally you have to wait until, like, conservation uh, when you can place lumber mills or uh, when you can place, place forests in Tundra before Tundra even becomes, like, bad <laughs> rather than just terrible. So the fact that we can place step wells uh, kind of kind of upgrades Tundra a little bit. I actually need to get more uh, amenities online, so I'm going to move over here to improve the silk. I just got a trader here. I'm feeling pretty safe about this trader. I'm going to send it to Valletta again because I want the little bit of gold income and a little bit of production and stuff like that. Now, right now the tiles that we're working are not amazing. 100% not amazing. Uh, I don't think I need... I'm going to clear this. So this bronze working. I don't think I need many more settlers. I think I could I could get away with another settler up here, but I need a unit to go scout that. I'm going to send my warrior over here to see if they can scout it. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'd like my capital to grow a little bit, so I'm going to grab a granary. Over here, uh, I'm thinking monument to help grab these tiles. Really what you need is improvements, though. So a builder wouldn't be out of the place for you. I also need to place all my holy sites, because there's a holy site. I want to place a holy site over here, uh, which means really I should be getting a monument and stuff like that. My holy site over here wants to go right there. Yeah, I'm going to go monuments first, actually. So with the Battering Ram, I'm expecting to be able to do a lot of damage to these cities. But it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit of work getting myself into the position. Because these archers need to be dealt with, and there's catapults here now as well. So let's do a test push. He's going to see how he responds to me poking into his land. Now that's his capital, and it's pretty weak right now, so there's a good chance I can take it. You need to get out of there. we will get popped. Man, there's a lot of really nice tundra down here that I could I could actually make use of. Create with the heart. Create with the heart. Okay, so let's move you in here. We should be able to completely obliterate the walls. We're going to pull you back to heal. We'll do a shot with you. We'll pull you back to heal in a second. We just did a lot of damage to that city in like two turns. I, it would be perfect if we had a siege tower, but that's not really available to us right now. Knights are going to be the promotion class, but I think uh, we're going to want to get currency at some point. Just keep running. Just keep swimming. Just keep sp Valletta, what is this that you want? You will crit a great rider. It's not going to happen this game for me, I'm afraid. Free unit? Oh, I'll take it. Aleppo is pretty weak right now. If I could take Cairo, I feel like I have got um, Arabia done. I'd love to pillage this farm. What, what, what is camp pillaging? I'm trying to remember what camps give you if you pillage. Pillaging a camp rewards gold. You're almost there in terms of healing. I think I'm going to go try and pillage the camp or the, the, the farm here. 
and you're just going to fortify for a turn. I can't pillage this turn, but I can pillage next turn, and I'm hoping he'll be able to survive that. Okay, so he pushed forward with an archer, which means I should be able to kill that archer and reduce the total amount of damage output that he has on the map. So let's pillage this. Shoot here. Then attack here. That'll get me a promotion. This Varu is ready to enter into the fight now. It's got the health for it. We'll get this plantation up. Nice one. Look at that tile, man. Jesus. It's really nice already. This should be a kill. Nice one. And we got a promotion. Okay, I'm starting to feel pretty good. You're going to have to retreat, though, because you're going to start taking too much damage. All the world's a stage, and all the men... Pull you back to Chennai. Move you over here. Claim a great person. We got a great prophet. Very, very nice. We finally got our religion. We will found this religion. Uh, we will call it Hinduism because we are playing India. Uh, now to start with, we have to pick our founder belief. Now the founder belief is uh, <clears throat> it's going to be tough. Plus 2% gold for each follower. Hmm. Works really nicely with this um, gold from forest tiles thing. You can purchase settlers with faith, you can choose harbor buildings, commercial hub and entertainment complexes, warrior monks, shrines and temples provide plus one housing. Ooh, I'm thinking about that. Yeah, let's do lots of housing. It seems like fun. Or maybe we could go like all in on gold. Tithe? No, that wouldn't work. If I was going to do that, I would want to do monastery brewery. So we go all in on gold, and then we kind of just pick whatever we want to do. We don't even worry about faith. Uh, we get plus two gold from forest tiles, plus two gold on all tiles adjacent to my holy sites, and plus two percent gold for each follower. Sure, let's let's mess around with this. We we'll go we we'll go for the uh, go for a gold generating religion. That's an interesting one. I've never done anything like that before. So you can see over here where my holy site is. Now all of these tiles produce uh, really really incredible yields. In fact, let me just. Yeah, look at this sheep tile is incredible. Really, really amazing. Which means I feel a bit more confident now about purchasing and placing my holy sites to lock in their prices. But we'll just finish what you guys were finishing. You've already got your holy site. Look at these horse tiles. My God. Uh, you're going to go... I'm going to drop yours here, maybe here here uh, six of one half a dozen of the other really John okay there's Jan Curtain John Curtain my good friend as their prime minister we seek sympathetic allies in the I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip some of these because I've seen them so many times it's starting to get old um, yeah, we should be able to take Cairo next turn. Aleppo should drop pretty soon afterwards. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he built any thingies, but he does have holy sites that we can take over, which is nice. No. So people are going to be a little bit upset with me because I'm a warmonger from this, but that's okay. Okay, let's heal up. You're going to take the barding promotion. You're going to fortify. I will keep this city. Now, there is Islam here. See my own religion. Starting to spread. See the pressure of Hinduism appearing over here. Six per turn. Exciting. 
So I'm not sure what I'll do here. I might do like a hybrid religion domination game or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to have a hell of a lot of money though. That's what I do know. Okay, we got a granary in here. That's going to help you grow a little bit. Let's have a look. Uh, definitely want to use this sheep tile. Three food, two gold, one faith. I actually kind of like that for growth right now. It only shaves two turns off. This would shave three turns off, but hurt my gold income a decent amount. And my culture income. Yeah, okay. That's all fine. So what kind of what kind of victory type am I going for here? I have no idea. I don't know, we're just gonna Sim City. We're just gonna Sim City have a good time and find out what we what we can pull off. Um So I have two settlers coming out, one for over here, one for over here. There's definitely room for another one up here. Somewhere. So I'm gonna take tortoise here. Uh let's go ahead and Place the holy site tile. What were you working on? Nothing. Granary. Get yourself a granary. You're a little bit you're a little bit growth starved right now. Repair that. Uh come on over. May as well improve that in mind so when the city grows it has another really nice tile to work. There's the giant's causeway. Okay. Hoping he tries to shoot me here. Oh no, you're gonna take really bad hits. Ouch. Let's get you out of there. So we're gonna move over to surround Aleppo here soon. Just keep a nice scout on them. They are building walls. That's scary. No, not really interested in trading right now. I'm kind of focused on the war, to be honest. Ah, they, I, as I suspected, I something in my head told me they were going to finish those walls this turn, but I thought I would... I figured I could risk it, but even losing a unit isn't so bad. Okay. Now, I would love to improve. I, have, I don't really have many mines in my empire, actually, so I don't think I really care about apprenticeship at, at this point. I think I would much rather maybe pick up bronze working to be able to reveal iron so that I can get knights. Mm, my goodness. Right here. Picks up a lot of resources right there. Settler. Nice one. Uh, do I want to get my holy site finished? Granary for growth. I have two envoys, encampment district buildings with faith. Ooh, actually, this would synergize. Oh, actually, if I got Valletta on my side, that would synergize amazingly. Amazingly with a war game. Oh, hell yeah. I want Carthage and Valletta on my side. So these are the ones I'm going to focus on. I want to get Valletta on my side so I can do this. Yeah, I think we're going to. I think we might go for like a, an. Um, we have a huge gold pile to be able to upgrade and buy units. Our faith will be able to be used to buy units and buy buildings in our encampment districts. So I feel like we're actually set up for a really good India domination game here. Sometimes, like, I came in here with the intent of playing, like, a religion game. But sometimes you gotta just roll with the punches, man. And when the game sets you up for a really good victory type, or, like, a really good game of a particular... of, of a really good game of a particular type, you just roll with it, man. Have a good time. Oh, man, there's so much room for settling over here. Let's move in. I want to hit Aleppo next turn to erase its walls. Uh, you're going to move up this way. I know I'm doing a lot of SimCity things right now. But that's not really a big deal. Okay, there goes that. Promotion available for you. We'll give you that promotion next turn. Settle right there. Goddamn, like a bunch of quadrireums just like menacing Hyderabad. 
Uh, okay, there's bronze working. We are going to want to build encampments. It's the thing that we want to do. Not on these, though. In fact, this kind of changes my goal. No, no, it doesn't. No, we still want to go for Reformed Church and Divine Right. Never mind. No, no, I think, think this will really change our goals. Um, definitely want to get machinery. Definitely want to get sailing, I think. So sailing, perhaps, the wheel, perhaps, uh, we'll think about that afterwards. But I wanted to just place that, get the settler. I want to get more of these Varu. That's something I want to do. I'll probably get them in my cap. Oh my god, they're just handing settlers away. You move there, take your uh, route promotion. You move there, you move there. Next turn we should be able to take Aleppo. So some people are going to be a little, be a little bit upset with me. Because of what I've been doing. Nice great admiral, dude. Progress towards divine right, feudalism. All these things just got boosted. Super happy with that. And it was another holy site that we can make use of later. Speaking of which... Might be a good move to try to spread my religion to Cairo. To break its pressure. So that I can get the advantages of these holy sites over here that I'm in the process of building. Okay, you built a monument. It'll take you way too long to, to way too long to make a varum. Why don't you get your holy site up and running so you can get that gold and uh, faith from it? Prepare that granary. Now, watts would be super nice, but it's not what I want. <laughs> uh, instead, what we're going to do is I've said the word watt too many times. Uh, instead, we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to get you to get a granary so that you grow later. Right now, that's not a big concern, but later on, that'll be useful. Oh, you're also building Jebel Barkal. I have no qualms with what you're doing that. That's fine. Let's see if we can't scout over here to the right. I've got this, like, really long, thin empire going on here. Like, city, 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 city. It's a bit odd. They're sailing. Nice one. We're going to send another envoy to Valletta. This will allow me to build those things. Most importantly, it'll give me uh, a friend. Bit of scouting information and stuff like that as well is nice. Oh man, I think we're kind of mildly isolated. Which has positives and negatives. So I'm thinking Holy Sight right here. Uh, but immediately get started on a monument. No, you're coastal. You have to go granary first. In coastal cities, it's always granary first. Uh, let's get missionaries over here to these cities. So we want to get up in Baghdad's face. I don't want to take an unnecessary city shots. Okay, we got our settler here. I'm thinking settling right here. Put a holy site there. Snatches what possible good tiles there are around here. Escorting settlers is for is for newbies. Come on. All right, so we got a settler finished in here. We have our shrine up. Builders are definitely on the card here. Are we still building settlers? We're building settlers in one more city. I mean, there's room for way more cities, though. So I may continue to make settlers. Hold for turn. Hold for turn. Hold for turn. Come up this way. Oh my god, there's so much room for cities. It's actually ridiculous. We could make so many cities here. I'm going to make a bajillion cities. 
Screw it, man. I'm in. Let's do it. Are you guys in? Are you guys in for a million cities? Sometimes the wheel turns slow. I'm definitely watermill. Okay. Watermill. I I think of that every time. Every time I hear the watermill or see the watermill. Hear the watermill? I said it myself. How could I hear myself say it? Hmm. Well, I can't hear myself say it. Don't, don't be dumb potato. <laughs> Listen, guys. It can be tough to talk to yourself for four hours at a time in a dark room. All right. So what are we doing here? Tech-wise, I'm a little bit kind of lost. Tech-wise. I'm thinking stirrups. No, I don't want to get stirrups yet because I want to build my Varu. Because my Varu are just cheaper, slightly worse heavy cavalry. Or knights, yeah. So I think I could... I could maybe delay... I could definitely pick up Celestial Navigation. I could definitely maybe pick up uh, shipbuilding so that I can embark. That's going to be an important one. So I'll pick up those two. Uh, you finished your monument, so your borders are going to grow. Get your granary so you can continue to grow yourself. You need to get your infrastructure up, really, before you can do anything of significance for me. Go there, that's where I want you to be. Oh, there's at least two more cities over here. And a city over here, maybe even two cities here, depending on the land. Oh, and we get we get Spear of Fion. Spear of Fion Varus. That's disgusting. We have an absolutely outrageous, outrageous stack going on these guys right now. That's actually legitimately... I, I don't even know what to say to have such a stack like that. That's an incredible stack. Oh, I want to settle beside this lake, but I also want to settle coastally, so I'm kind of like torn. Maybe if I settle here, aqueduct. Yeah, we'll do the aqueduct thing. Oh, I feel like if I produce more settlers... God, I need more settlers, though. God, I need more settlers, because the land that we have is incredible. We have such incredible land. How much is a settler right now? 260 production. You really don't have a lot of production right now. Let's spend a bit of time getting stuff like watermills to get that production up. Get that settler. Granary completed. Now get your holy site. You're working on improved tiles? Yes. Well, with the exception of this. In fact, I actually think I I think I prioritize builders pretty highly these days. Um, build charge like builders have become like one of my favorite things to do. Wait, why are you in danger? Don't be in danger. Don't be in Joe danger. Hello, I'm Hojo Takamune of Japan, a humble disciple of Bushido. Fair enough, my friend. If bread is the first necessity of life. Okay, swap. Attack. <laughs> and we're gonna take route. We wanna push down this right hand tree because it makes it really good at fighting other heavy cavalry, which are typically the most scary unit on the board um, when you're playing. So for now, I just want you to get a watermill uh, while I think about what I want to do with you for long term. I also want to get Suzeranity with Carthage. Doing some exploring with this guy. Lots of really nice things going for me right now. I hope I can capture him. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh my god, there's so much room for cities. What is what's going on? Uh... You know what? I will take this deal, although I also want open borders. Let's see if we can do this. Open borders for this. Will you give me some cash, too? Yeah, okay. I'll take that deal. Mutual open borders, some cash and amenities. Swapping. Okay, so I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I talk too fast. Bye-bye.